Here's a quick tip for those that are using their MPCs with the MPC2 software inside of Logic Pro, which offers a very useful drag and drop transfer function that renders parts in your MPC as audio and then dumps them into Logic. But I've seen a few people struggle with this, especially with the way the manual explains how to get your sounds out separately and that you should explode your tracks. But exploding can make a real mess of your sequences depending on how your tracks are laid out. Then there's a few that suggest you should convert your sequences into songs using song mode and then explode your tracks. But the problem with these methods is they presume your arrangement is final. Whereas I personally prefer to arrange my parts and my song in my audio application as I go. So here's an alternative that I think works quite well, which doesn't involve exploding tracks and doesn't burn through as much data on your storage device. In this clip, I'm using Logic Pro X 10.4.8 and MPC Software 2.9.1. So assuming you've got a few parts in your MPC that you want to import into Logic, find the pad mixer in your MPC or MPC plugin, solo the pad you'd like to import into Logic. For this example, I'll choose the kick and by double clicking on the track name, I can rename the track to kick and doing this will give the imported file a relevant name. Up to the right, we have this tiny gray export audio icon up here. Click this once and you'll see the plugin render the audio. Then hold your mouse button down and drag the export audio icon onto the logic arrangement window into position on any available audio track or empty space. So let's test the imported audio. I'll mute the MPC plugin. Okay, good. Now you can return to the MPC plugin and clear the export audio cache by holding down shift and clicking on the export audio icon. It'll return to a ghosted gray icon when it's clear and ready to be reloaded again. So then repeat this process to get your other sounds imported into Logic. So if we visit the pad mixer, unsolo the previous pad and solo the next pad. I'll rename the track, which is purely discretional of course. Click the export audio icon once to render. Then drag the export audio icon onto Logic's arrangement window and place it where you need it. So then repeat this process to get your other sounds imported into Logic. So again, if we visit the pad mixer, unsolo the previous pad and solo the next pad, rename the track, which is purely discretional, and click the export audio icon once to render. Then drag the export audio icon onto Logic's arrangement window and place it where you need it. Then repeat this process again however many times you need to. If your MPC sample rate and bit depth don't match those of your audio application, then you'll run into the sample rate conversion notification each time you attempt a drag and drop. The idea here is that you're meant to configure the export preferences of the MPC plugin, and I'm sure some of you won't need to do this, but if you do, visit the file menu inside your plugin. At the bottom of that menu, you'll see export, in there, select as audio mix down and the options window will be displayed where you can configure the settings for exporting audio, ideally the sample rate and bit depth. I suffer from a small issue with my export preferences. For whatever reason, my MPC plugin defaults to 16 bit when my MPC is on, but defaults to 24 bit when my MPC is off. It could be a bug or something that may have been resolved in a more recent update but I think I'm more comfortable with Logic doing my conversion rather than the MPC plugin anyway. So that's all for this quick tip. I hope that helps your workflow. If so, please give the clip a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to see more quick tips coming soon. Thanks for watching.